Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. So I wanna create another beach scene on this eight inch round I picked up from Target. Now my plan is to lay down some beautiful color and then top it with a transparent coat of resin. <laughs> Last time I got a little heavy handed or a lot, but anyway. And I get to use Christina's latest paint, the 2023 Beach Retreat Metallic. It is gorgeous, just beautiful. Uh, the 2021 Beach Retreat Shimmer, the Denim Blue Metallic, mm, a little bit of the Beach Retreat Shimmer, and for the Sand Sandbar. Now, this is just going to be the underlay. I do plan to try to put some real sand on here. Well, let's see how that goes. I don't have a big substrate here, but uh, anyway. It'll be a great experiment. All right, let's get started. So the next step for me is to add a layer of real sand. I want it to look as natural as possible. I kind of cut out a template how I want my wave and sand to look like. And I'm gonna cover this. Here we are. I think that's where I want it. decided to add sand to the sides. It'll add more texture to the piece. I just didn't like the way that edge looked. Uh, and I also noticed a bare spot on the front and I took care of that as well. Okay, we're dried and ready to go. So I'm gonna use this little piggy's tail feather, mermaid, and lakeside. And of course, for the waves, I'm gonna use casting craft. Uh, we're gonna see, I'm gonna try this again. All right, I'm gonna start mixing. Don't really need very much. And I definitely don't need a lot of pigment.
I made that mistake last time. very happy with the placement of my wave. I wanted it to come further down into the sand than it did 
that's why I added another strand. And in hindsight, I should have left it alone. <laughs> uh, but I didn't. So I had a fail on the waves. I decided to go ahead and tilt it off and let it cure and reapply the next day. start lower in the sand so I decided to go ahead and cover the existing wave with the seafoam from TLP and start again from there. <laughs> 